Hello, my friends. Today we start lesson. Uh, this will be lesson about a beautiful motif Kayana. It's leaf with uh, five beautiful small leaves. Yes, beautiful design. And I will use my favorite Italian viscos in a new color. It's turquoise green. Number is 49, 526. This thread you will find in our store, jthouse.net slash store. I will join three threads together. I will use crochet hook 1.7 millimeters. Also scissors. Uh, maybe I will need some uh, pin just to fix uh, my working thread. And also needle with big eye to hide few tails. Also, I want to say very important information. This tutorial is for free. I have prepared... Uh, colored schemes, instructions in English, and also you will be able to watch detailed video tutorials, few parts. And for this, you can use a uh, link below this video. Uh, by this link, you will go to my Patreon page. There, I made open post uh, with all information. So you can go by this link. You will see all information. You will be able to download schemes and instructions. Also, you will see there uh, two links to watch video tutorials. Also below this video on YouTube channel, you will see link to watch the uh, next part for this element. Everything is for free. All these videos are available to watch. And also don't forget, uh, join Patreon page, just subscribe for free and you will be able to receive all these um, crochet tutorials that I am making for free. I will make a lot of workshops and you will be able to download high quality colored schemes and also instructions in English. I think this is perfect because I am making very beautiful motifs, laces, and you will be able to learn how to create them, and everything will be for free. Just uh, uh, follow my page on Patreon. There I will post all this information. So don't miss out this really fantastic opportunity. I invite you to join my Patreon page. Just you can uh, follow me uh, without any uh, payment, and uh, you will learn how to create a lot of beautiful laces and motifs. Uh, so now uh, we will uh, work with scheme. This scheme you will find in PDF lesson. Also, you can print out this scheme at your home. And uh, now I will join three threads and we will start. I will try to explain everything slow and in details. That's why I will divide this tutorial for few video lessons. Just for you, it will be, I think, easier to follow because uh, it will be not so long lesson. So you can watch uh, first part after maybe in few days second part and step by step you will create this element So let's start first. I will show you on the skin uh, We have such beginnings the first part of skin uh, We should make ten chain loops join this uh, chain to the ring by uh, making a slip stitch this one after uh, We will go to this direction. Yes, so we will make this long chain next turn uh, to this uh, just direction and we will make few stitches a single crochet stitches after we will make this chain and next go back next we need to um, move to this direction to our circle join to this ring and uh, next we will make first base for uh, this beautiful leaf yes and i think uh, on this scheme we have uh, such symbols it's single crochet here i think we can use half double crochet next we have double crochet stitch treble crochet double crochet again and after um, all the time the same, we can say yes, like this, it works. Okay, so uh, let's start. And um, I will show you how to create this beginning. I joined three threads together. I don't like to make uh, knots. So uh, just take a thread like this, leave tail around 20 centimeters. Take a thread in such way, just, and make circle by your hook, just by using your hook. After... Catch these two threads, they cross each other here and fix by just hold by fingers. Next, yarn over and draw through this working loop. And in such way, you can start without knots. So we have first uh, chain loop. Next, I will make more. So second, third, pause. Now, chain number five, chain number six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now we have 10 chain loops. Next, insert hook to the first chain below two threads and make a single crochet stitch. Just yarn over and draw through this first loop and through this working loop. Next, I like to do like this. 
these all threads together with tail take around your hook and draw through this working loop and leave it, leave it at the right side this tail and make this working loop again smaller like this and it will be better to work in such way and now uh, we need to make one single crochet around this ring just place your hook like this yarn over make a loop and finish to make standard single crochet stitch after we should make 14 chain loops 3 4 5 6 7 7 8 9 10 11 12 12 13 14 you should make them accurate yes and uh, now uh, we will skip one and two two chain loops and to the third insert hook below two threads like this yarn over make a loop and after yarn over and draw through this two loops this will be single crochet again go to the next chain and make also single crochet stitch go to the next one and also make single crochet stitch again take next chain insert hook below two threads and make standard uh, single crochet stitch and repeat the same uh, how many we should make one two three four i have four yes so from here uh, we need to make this part i will show you on the scheme this part so one two three four five six seven eight eight chain loops we should make so let's do this one two three four five six seven eight eight chain loops now again we don't tie the last two chain loops go to the third insert hook below two threads and now step by step we need to make six single crochet stitches just we will use chain loops and each time you need to insert your hook below two threads and very accurate create this six single crochet stitches okay i made uh, six stitches step by step and now uh, we need to join uh, to the next chain here and i will take again this next chain insert hook below uh, two threads and make single crochet stitch and in such way we will continue our work next again to the next chain make single crochet and like this again single crochet and after again to the next chain make single crochet and after do the same each time insert hook below two threads and now the last chain here and after i will show you on the scheme so we just finished it to make this all stitches now i finish it here because i work it with the last chain and after we need to make this one around the ring and second one around this middle ring and next we will start to create this base so two stitches around the ring insert hook below this uh, ring and make single crochet and again single crochet like this two stitches we have now we start to make let's see how many 11 11 chain loops one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven eleven chain loops now again we don't tie the last two go to the chain number three and we will make half double crochet so one time yarn over insert hook below two threads make a loop and after join threads through the three loops that you have on your hook at once next one chain loop one time yarn over skip one chain loop go to the next one insert hook below two threads and make standard uh, double crochet stitch 
after one chain loop, two times yarn over, skip one stitch, go to the next chain loop and insert hook below two threads and make standard treble crochet stitch. So like this, it's, it will be a little bit bigger. After one chain loop, one time yarn over, skip one chain, go to the next one, insert hook below two threads and make double crochet stitch like this after two chain loops the last part and just join to the ring by making single crochet stitch around like we did before yes and we have created such base uh, for yes and this will be like one leaf or we can say part of leaf yes next we should uh, make one two three three more stitches around this ring so let's make it second one third in total four we have three so one more and from here we can start to create the next base like this and uh, just uh, it's very similar uh, just we have a little bit longer this chain in the beginning so i will tell you how many satin this time we have satin uh, chain loops and we will make um, half double crochet three times uh, even four times yes yeah it's single crochet so i think so it will be or maybe it's double crochet double crochet okay so four times double crochet stitches two chain loops and again we will work around the ring just we will make four single crochet stitches so let's start setting one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven 12 setin uh, okay setin we have skip two stitches and after join to the chain number three one two we skip one time yarn over we will make half double crochet to the third chain make a loop after we have three loops on the hook and join everything next one chain loop one time yarn over skip one chain go to the next one insert hook below two threads and make double crochet again one chain loop one time yarn over skip one chain go to the next one and make double crochet again one chain loop one time yarn over skip this chain go to the next one insert hook below two threads and make double crochet stitch so we have three double one more so one chain loop one time yarn over skip one chain go to the next one and make double crochet stitch and now the last two chain loops and go to this middle ring make around four single crochet stitches one two three and four uh, four uh, chain uh, four single crochet stitches now we will make uh, this uh, middle part is the biggest one the length of this chain is one two three fifteen fifteen chain loops so let's make them accurate don't forget three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen once again we don't tie the last two chains we start from the third one time yarn over insert hook below two threads and now we will make loop and now we have three loops on the hook this will be half double crochet so join everything one chain loop one time yarn over skip one chain go to the next one make double crochet again one chain loop skip one chain loop go to the next one below two threads insert your hook and make double crochet once again one chain loop one time yarn over skip one chain in previous row and make double crochet stitch so we have three double crochet now will be treble crochet so two times yarn over skip one chain go to the next one and make treble crochet stitch like this after one chain loop one time yarn over skip one stitch and make to the next chain below two threads double crochet and now the last two chain loops and work around this ring just make once again four single crochet stitches like we did before so just do the same so we have four and now we have three um, bases like this and i will uh, make two more i will do the same like we did before so just repeat the same system yes and 
after I will uh, show you how to finish this row. Yes, uh, you will see this. So right now we made first, second and third. I will make two more. Together with you we will finish here by making a slip stitch. And next we will start to create beautiful uh, parts of this leaf. So let's continue to create two bases. So now I want to show you the last part in this row. I should make here two chain loops. And I will join around this ring. And I need to make uh, one single crochet stitch around this middle ring and a next slip stitch. So one single crochet and slip stitch to the beginning where we started here. I just insert hook below a few threads and after make a slip stitch. And in such way we will join everything. So now I need to fix the thread by pink, I, a pin. I want to uh, iron and stretch this beginning and in such way I will be able to show you everything more clear. So let's fix this thread. So we finished it to make this row and now um, uh, we will start to move back and we will make few rows around each base. Step by step and I will show you this also. Let's work. And now we can continue our work. I will remove this pin. So we finish it in such way, in such direction. Now we will turn our work. Just turn like this. Take this first base. We will work around it. It's the smallest one that we have. And uh, just uh, we will, once again, I need to turn it like this. So we have it. And now around this chain from two chain loops, we will make uh, two single crochet stitches. Just two single crochet stitches. Insert hook below this arch, yarn over, make a loop, and next finish to make a single crochet stitch. Just I want to make this first uh, loop a little bit smaller. Make it. And now single crochet stitch, first one, and around the same arch, second one. After to the uh, top point of this double crochet, insert hook below two threads and make single crochet. Next we have arch from one chain loop, so only one single crochet I will make here. Again, to the top of double crochet, insert hook below two threads and make single crochet. And uh, next, around this arch, one single crochet and to the top of the stitch also one single crochet around the arch one and now we are working at the top so uh, here we will make to this half double crochet i will make one single crochet stitch again below two threads at the upper part make single crochet and now like you remember we uh, didn't touch this two chain loops here at the turning so around this turning i will make one two three four five uh, five stitches a single crochet stitches just insert hook below these two chain loops and make five single crochet stitches step by step first one second third fourth and now the last one around the same part now we go to this side around this side we should work and we will work with each yes a chain so first single crochet next around this arch one single crochet to this point where we have stitch take this thread yes and make around single crochet again around the arch single crochet and to this point where we have stitch we have one thread so work around this one and make single crochet next again one and to this point where we have double crochet make also single crochet and the last chain from two chain loops make two single crochet stitches and after joining by slip stitch to this point yes to this stitch now turn your work and uh, now um, i want to create beautiful design uh, for example in the second row we have a single crochet stitches just um, we can uh, work simply just by making standard stitches or we can use only one loop uh, front loop or back loop in our previous stitches and by using this technique we will get very beautiful design and i will do like this so turn your work and when i will make this row i will use only 
front loop in each stitch of previous row. So we have two loops. I will use only front. This one. Only one. I will show this one. Yes, you can see we have two. I will use only first one. Like this. So use only uh, front loops. Just take front loop, insert hook below and make a loop. And after standard single crochet stitch, again, take only front loop in the stitch, yes, of previous row, yarn over and make single crochet. And in such way, just go around and use each stitch of previous row. So it's not difficult. And use only front loop like this. And make single crochet front loop and make single crochet so i will go around just work with each stitch of previous row next we will finish together this row and we will make the last one around this part yes of our beautiful leaf and uh, now let's finish this row just make a slip stitch uh, here near to the base around here you will see this on the scheme make a slip stitch and now again we can turn the work and now we will go back and this time we will use back loops only what i mean yes we have here two threads you can see we will all the time we will use this loop back loop only so now let's make first we should make one two three four step by step we will make single crochet stitches and we will use only a back loop so let's make first a single crochet like this i will show you closer just insert hook below this back loop make a loop and after finish to make single crochet again take this loop make single crochet take this loop and make single crochet and one more in total four single crochet stitches step by step now we will make a small because this will be switching loops insert hook below two threads that we can clearly see at the front side yarn over draw through these two loops and through this working loop now continue to work to the next chain stage of previous row take this back loop and make single crochet first one to the next one again back loop and make single crochet again back loop and make single crochet in total we need to make four stitches step by step and after again we have picot from uh, switching loops so now we will make picot again from switching loops insert hook below two threads at the front side and finish to make this picot now we go to the upper part so step by step i will make again four single crochet stitches and again take only back loop in each stitch of previous row second single crochet third and the last now we reach to the top point of this part yes of our beautiful element here we, we will make three picots journey together so first of all make switching loops insert hook below two threads at the front side draw threads for everything now again switching loops this will be second picot insert hook below the same two threads like we did before and draw threads through everything at once and once again switching loops insert hook below the same two threads and draw threads through everything now step by step start to create again single crochet stitches and work again only with back loops like this in each stitch of previous row so i will make four stitches now we have four step by step and again picot from switching loops finish to make this picot like we did before and again make single crochet stitches and use only back loops in stitches of previous row we have three and four now again picot one two three four sorry three switching loops insert hook below two threads that we have at the front side yarn over draw through these loops and through working loop and now the last uh, stitches uh, single crochet stitches second one third and the last one 
you want to make and next we should make uh, two single crochet stitches like transition to the next base so we will make it first one just to make a slip stitch not tight and second one very close to the base this will be slip stitch and now again work around this base like we did before so around this chain we will make two single crochet stitches and this will be beginning yes of our work again so my friends this information is enough for first part of video tutorial about leaf kayana so don't forget uh, watch next part you will find link below this video also first link uh, just uh, will give you uh, will guide you to our Patreon page, JT House Patreon page, you will go uh, directly to the post, open post with full information about this element. So you will be able to download schemes, instructions in English and also there you will find also two links to watch two parts of video tutorial about this beautiful motif. So everything is for free, just follow our Patreon page and you will get a lot of free tutorials because I will post them step by step and uh, you will be able to download high quality schemes and instructions and also you will be able to watch video tutorials as many times as you need. So I invite you to join our Patreon community, our um, just a really fantastic crochet community. I will be very happy to see you there. So join us, follow our page and create together with us. Right now, I wish you beautiful results. Uh, I hope you will create this part of motive uh, without any problems and without any difficulties i wish you gorgeous results also big inspiration and see you very soon at the part number two and there you will see how to finish this element thank you so much for your attention and see you very soon bye bye for now bye bye my friends